Welcome back to the shop. I'm Jeff from Today's Craftsman. If you follow us on Instagram, you may know that I just purchased a shed. And if you know what I do, you might be asking yourself, why did I buy a shed and not just build it? Well, we have the hard numbers here to tell you exactly why I purchased the shed versus building it. I don't think that you can build a shed for as cheap as you can just buy a shed. So I purchased my shed from a company called Stoltzfus Structures. They're out in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, and that's what they do, they build sheds. So they have a facility that's set up specifically for building sheds and building them very quickly. Typically they have a two to four week lead time. They actually turn my shed around in six days. So I ordered it on a Friday, the following Thursday it was delivered. I bought a 12 by 16 shed and it is just a garden shed. It has a six foot door in the front and a small window in the back, but you can configure a shed any way you want. They have a, a, a configurator online where you can build it in 3D and see what it's gonna look like you know, before you buy it. You pick your paint color, uh, all these little details. So I went with a pretty simple one. It's just one door, one window, because I want all that storage you know, around the sides. I did spring for ridge vent and vented soffit, just in case I wanna insulate it in the future, I'll have that, that venting. So I went in there this morning and I broke down all of the material that was in this shed. So I have 110 two by fours. Uh, some of them are longer, I did it just by eight foot two by fours, but 110 two by four by eight foot two by fours. It's sitting on five 16 foot pressure treated four by fours. I have mine on a concrete pad. I just had a detached garage ripped down, so we put the shed on top of, of a pad that was existing. I didn't factor the site prep into this because whether you buy a shed or build a shed, you're going to either have to put down stone or a concrete pad to put the shed on top of. The outside is LP Smart Side, which is actually the same material back here. It's a 5 8 inch uh, material. It's similar to like Tex 111, if you've heard of that. There are 15 pieces of material for the siding, four foot by eight foot. The roof decking, eight pieces of 7 16 OSB. Uh, there's six pieces of 19 32nd OSB for the subfloor. Six hinges for the door. We have a 24 by 36 inch window, 16 linear feet of ridge vent, 32 linear feet of soffit vent, 250 square feet of GAF shingles, 64 linear feet of aluminum drip edge. I figured for four gallons of paint, the subfloor is painted and the entire exterior is painted. It's painted two different colors. And then you have your fasteners. So after I did that, I went online to Lowe's and I built a cart. And let's see what the exact total is. I still have it here. The grand total, 3,111 and four cents. So $3,111.04 just for the material that went into building the shed. Um, so I paid $6,300 for the shed. That included delivery from Pennsylvania. We'll put in a, a little clip of the shed being delivered. They use something called a mule. So it's, uh, you could either drive it or it could be remote controlled. And basically it's like a mini forklift that picks up the shed. They put a big tire under the front and they can drive it you know, wherever it needs to go. So it was put on a, on a you know, tractor trailer, on a big flatbed trailer, driven out here and set in place. So that was included in the price. So this $3,111 number, this is also assuming that you have all of the tools to build the shed. So you're gonna wanna use a framing nailer. Um, you're gonna wanna use a roofing nailer to do the roof. You need your roller frames, brushes, all that stuff to do the painting. Also, you need to have the skills and the knowledge on how to do these things. So you have to know how to frame an opening, hang the doors, install the window, put on the roofing. Uh, oh, one thing I didn't uh, say on my list, roof underlayment, felt paper. Um, so yeah, so basically for $3,200 in labor, you need to be able to build this shed and it needs to be as good as the shed that I got. I don't, I don't think that's possible personally. To build this shed, you're probably looking at two guys for, for several days. Um, that's if you're pretty good. So if you're not, it's gonna take you longer. So I don't know, what do you think? Do you think you could build a shed for, for 3,000 bucks? I don't think I can, but I don't know about you. So let us know, would you buy a shed or would you build a shed? Do you think it was worth it? Did I get ripped off? Let us know, we'll see you next week.